morning. If you forgot to change your clock uh, by an hour, either late last night or two o'clock uh, this morning, and you got to church an hour early, we'll praise God. Amen. And it's always okay to be early to church. Amen. So uh, we'll praise God Amen. for that. Uh, before uh, before we kind of go on with the service, I uh, would like you to remember uh, a number of people in prayer. Uh, first of all, our pastor. Yes. Uh, now, there are there may be some here that uh, do not know that the uh, pastor was going through a heart attack uh, Monday. And uh, Monday evening, uh, Sister Kim uh, had taken the pastor to the hospital. And uh, you'll hear a little bit more about that later, but it's uh, a lot of good news about all that, okay? But I did want you to keep the pastor in prayer. Uh, also be praying for my wife, Tanya, as well. Uh, also, uh, the pastor's sister, Debbie, down in Houston. Uh, please keep her in your prayers. Uh, sister Brenda's been gone for some time. Uh, to be with her. She really didn't have anyone that could kind of help her out for a length of time, and Sister Brenda uh, really went out of her way to be there with her, and praise God for that. Uh, also, uh, please remember uh, those that have been sick uh, and that are members of the congregation as well. So if you'll stand for a moment, we'll go to the Lord in prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for all of your blessings. Uh, we put all of these people, uh, our pastor as well, uh, Lord, in our prayers that you give him great favor and, his, and he has a speedy recovery as well. We pray for Sister Pauline, Lord, for her back and her neck and the ailments that she's gone through. We pray for Sister Cindy, Heavenly Father, uh, uh, with the aches and pain she has gone through. And we thank you, Lord, that she's here with us today. Pray for all those that have been sick in the congregation, including uh, Brother Nick Lord of healing his throat, uh, that he's able to talk louder. Uh, we just put all these things before you today, and we really thank you, Lord, for all of the things you've done for our church. Uh, thank you so much for bringing the pastor through this week, and uh, all the people that maybe you protected on the road this week. So much for granted for it. And we give you honor and glory and praise in Jesus' name. We ask it today. Praise God. Hallelujah. You may you may be seated. Uh, I have a, a great, I should say, uh, I'm very happy to announce that uh, the pastor would like to have a few words with you. Uh, so, Pastor George, you may come up, share some things with the congregation. Praise God. just very briefly in Romans our Revelations chapter 22 and verse 12 uh, it says and behold I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be and that word quickly means right away soon suddenly uh, in other words most will be unprepared for it but our many will be unprepared for it but let's be ready and then uh, he said to give every man uh, my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. And I want you to know his reward is going to be the reward of our works. It's like a payday. Yes. And uh, he's going to give us uh, the good and he's going to give us the bad. Those that uh, are not ready and not prepared, he's going to come and his reward is with him. And I'm telling you, I just appreciate God for the growth that I see in many of you. 
And I want God to just continue to work and give you the faith and courage to reach out and just sow the seed in the morning and in the evening with hold not thou hand. For thou knowest not whether shall prosper, either this or that, or whether they both shall be alike good. Amen. And God is faithful. Thank you for everybody for just stepping up and being a church. Amen. Amen. We love you. Don't stop praying. Please don't stop praying. But the doctor said there was no uh, damage to my heart, which is nothing short of a miracle. Hallelujah. But uh, the, the enzymes went from 600 uh, to 6,000. And he come in, and just a little bit later, he come in, and they were 9,000. And uh, uh, I tell you what, God knows what he's doing. Yes. And uh, thank God for faithful people and for a faithful Lord. Amen. God bless you. And don't stop doing what you do. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Well, this time we're going to have congregational singing uh, with Sister Hannah.
for the Nick to come up as well. Very right, we'll do that.
Sister Kim's not in here to say. Oh, that's how it is. <laughs> so you can call for her. Okay. Call for her. Let's do it. Amen. You 
you, you're not willing to say anything? Okay. My wife, can you say something about this? We, we had a good Bible study. Sister Hazel brought a Bible study. The difference between faith and confidence. Yes, amen. Confidence. Confidence. Yes. All right. Praise the Lord. Well, here's how I'm going to start this morning. Uh, trying to find my place. So when I come back, I get straight into it. This is how I'm going to start. <laughs> I like having fun. We come to church for fun. We should have fun. Can you stand, brother? So somebody who can sing and somebody who wants to sing is going to sing. Amen. Praise the Lord. I don't even know if you know the word, but if God is in it, it will work out, right? Yes. Right. Now, Sister Anna always tell me that I start too high, so let's get it fixed over here first. The things that I love, I know dear to my heart, are just borrowed, they're not mine at all. Gee, you don't know this one? No. Praise the Lord! All right, you Remind me, remind me, dear Lord. Good. Learning something. Amen. All right, so we need help. Come over here, brother. Thank you. We're going to do it. Amen. Worship God, church. Amen. Worship God. We're going to do it. Amen. Help me now, brother Andrew. Right. Go ahead. The things that I love, I don't dear to my heart. I was borrowed. They're not mine. Verse 
And it says, Immediately therefore I sent to thee, and thou art well done, that thou art come. Now therefore are we all here, present, before God, to hear all things that are commandment, commanded thee of God. Amen. Brother, I'm going to be praying. Thank you, Jesus, for coming and dwelling with you today. Father, thank you for your presence that we feel. Father, thank you that your love is present. Lord, I pray that you anoint the preaching today. God, that you touch our ears, that we would hear. God, our hearts to receive the word. God, that comes across that pulpit today. God, help us to apply it to our life. God, to, to let it sink in and to find root in our, in our yes. soul. God, I pray that you would have your will today. God, that your word and your work would be accomplished in your people today. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 So, I'm going to use the B part of this verse as a text. Now, therefore, are we all here present before God to hear all things that are commandment be of God. I thank you, Pastor, for this opportunity. I thank you for the introduction, Brother Smith. And I thank you all for being here to hear me. As a subject, I'm going to talk about the ideal church of this time. The news feed on November 1st, 2024 at 2.12 p.m. starts like this. FBI search home of dead woman pastor's husband, John Miller. He was accused of stalking her. It goes on to say the FBI is conducting investigation on Friday at the South Carolina home of a pastor, John Paul Miller, after his wife, Mika Miller was missing six months ago and was found dead. This is in the church. This is leadership of the present church. See, in the space of a month, Two pastors that I love and, close and hold dear to my heart were hospitalized and underwent surgery. One in Florida, Pastor Cook, and here our pastor. Despite that this is the month for pastor appreciation, but Jesus talking to Peter said thou art Peter and upon this rock I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it Amen. thou art Petrus and upon this Petra, I build my church. Thou art a little stone, Peter, but on this rock, this bedrock, I build my church. This church is the church of me, my church. Jesus Christ said it. And if you don't believe, Paul in Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4 says, the rock that they follow was Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. It is his church. And he builds his church upon a solid rock. Yeah. In Ephesians, he tried to explain his love for the church. And it brought, it brought it down to husbands and wives. And it says in Ephesians chapter 5, 23, for a husband is the head of the wife. Didn't stop there. Even as Christ is the head of the church, he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subjected to Christ, let the wives 
be to their own husband. But because I'm not preaching about husband and wife today, I will leave that alone and continue only to tell you that this is a great mystery of the church, which is the bride of Christ. Come on. It's a great mystery. Yes. And it's presented that way. Yes. In the church, we read in Acts chapter 12 and verse 5, it says, Peter therefore was in prison. But prayers were made without ceasing yeah. of the church unto God for him. Yes. When there is a crisis, the church prays. Yes. The church always prays when there is a crisis. Wow. And God hears the prayer of the yes. church. Yes. Yes. The last part in Revelation that we heard about the church, <laughs> it says, He that have heart and ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the church. Then the church was silent until we hear pastor quote a couple of verses before Revelation chapter 22. He quoted uh, verse 12. But verse 16 said, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto thee unto the things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David. Yeah. Jesus Christ is still in control Amen. of this church. Yes, sir. That's right. This fight, what's going on? So I ask this question, or these questions, what does the ideal church look like? What is the state of leadership in the church today? An ideal church is a spiritual church, is a friendly church, is a crusading church, and it's a generous church. Now, here are these little points. And when, when, I, when I read this, you almost sit there and wonder and say, is this applied to me or maybe not? Some go to church to take a walk. Some go there to laugh and talk. Some go there to meet a friend. Some go there with time to spend. Some go to meet a lover, some go a fault to cover. Some go there for speculation, some go there for observation. Some go there to doze and nod, the wise go there to worship God. Amen. Amen. We talk about church being revived yes, sir. and getting powerful. If all the sleeping folk will wake up and the lukewarm folks will fire up, if the honest, dishonest folk will own up and the discouraged folk will cheer up, if the quarrelsome will make up and the gossiper will shut up, if the depressed folk will look up and the cowardly will speak up, then it may be well that God will truly bless us. Yes, Mom, that's yes, good. Amen. Amen. Help me, oh God. Mm. Point one, let's look at leadership in the church. Now, if you're familiar with the Barner Group, they do survey about churches. And since last month was pastor appreciation, oftentimes they do these surveys and, uh, you know, they come out with these numbers to show the state of churches. Right. Mm. In 2021, 
90% of church, church leaders consider seriously about quitting ministry full time. I'm giving you something to think about. They say that the immense stress of the job was the cause. 56% said that. I feel lonely and isolated. 43%. The current political divisions, 38%. My church is in a steady decline, 24%. I don't feel respected by my congregants, 21%. And I'm not reading all of these because of time. I have experienced personal crisis of faith, 6%. I believe in the value of my ministry. These are the ones that didn't decide to quit. 83, 83% of pastors believe in the value of their ministry. <laughs> Not 100%. 67 percent of pastors said my family support me well. 52% said, I feel confident as a leader. 40% didn't. Right. 3% said, I'm too afraid. When they ask about their well-being, <coughs> relationship well-being, 27% said, excellent. 48 says, good. Spiritual well-being, 28% excellent, 52% good. Physical well-being, 18% excellent, 40% good, 29% average. Financial well-being, 25% well, good, excellent, 40% uh, good, and 21% average and 10% uh, below average. When they ask about the health of the American pastor in 2021, 35% say they were healthy. 41% say they're average. 24% say they're un unhealthy. Sustain of our leadership. So I believe we can do something to make changes for that. Amen. So let's make ourselves as an ideal church, a spiritual church in which the congregation love the Bible. Amen. The people love the Bible. You see, they understand the the uh, History of the Bible. Second Peter 1 20 says, knowing the first, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture in any pro is any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not to all time, but by the will of man, by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. The people who love the Bible understand that the Bible is the final authority. Yeah. It was inspired. 2 Timothy 3.16 said, All scriptures are theophagos. God breathed. <coughs> God breathed out these scriptures. They are inspired. They are real. They are from God. And they're good for doctrine. Yes. Yes. They're good for <coughs> reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Yes. Yeah. Last week Wednesday, 
We had a little fun time. And, and some people appreciate these things more than others, but that's all right. We'll all get there one day, Brother Daniel. Right. <laughs> and praise the Lord. So, you know, um, Isaiah is a, is a very interesting book. I mean, we were told on Wednesday that Isaiah has 66 books and the whole Bible has 66 books. And mm -hmm. from um, Isaiah 1 to 39 is the first the Old Testament mm -hmm. and so forth. Now, did you know that Paul read the Old Testament? See, in Corinthians, Paul says, But as it is written, eyes are not seen, nor ears heard, neither have it entered into the heart of men the things God prepared for them that love him. Amen. Where was this written? It was written in Isaiah 64. Wow. Same thing. It says, For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by their ears, neither heart their eyes seen, O God, beside thee, what art thou prepared for him that waited for him? God has prepared things for his people. For his people. Amen. Yes, amen. Right. And it stands by itself. Yes. That's right. Amen. So a spiritual church loves to pray. Amen. You know, prayer still works. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. God still listens to prayer. Yes. Sister Erica. God still listens to prayer. Prayer still works. Yeah. See, prayer still works even for bad people. Okay, so Abraham was on a journey one time, and this king looked out his window. Saw Abraham and his wife and chose the wife and took her in. And God appeared to Abimelech and says, If you touch her, you surely die. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Abraham prayed for Abimelech. Yes, sir. Because the Bible said, God. Quickly shut up the womb of his wife. But when Abraham prayed, God reverses the charge. Amen. Job has some miserable friends <laughs> that spoke and criticized and judged. And it's God who said, I will hear my servant Job. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you go and sacrifice. And when my servant Job prayed, God changed things. Amen. Now, some people have some really pathetic kind of prayer. And even then, God heard it. Did you remember when Pharaoh was there in Egypt and all these plagued three times? Pharaoh said to Moses, Entreat your God for me. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, for you. God did it. Yes, sir. Moses prayed, God did it. disobedient people. Jonah was told to go on a mission. Jonah decided he wanted to do otherwise. And then he was on the sea. And a storm came. And Lot was cast. And Jonah found himself in the belly of a big fish. From the belly of hell, Jonah prayed to God. 
The Bible said God spoke to the fish. Conversation on Friday, and he's gonna be okay, so don't worry about him. Or my son, or my grandson. And I advise him that his action that he's taking, Jesus Christ is costing him less. Choose Jesus. Don't go the other way. It's too expensive. Yes, yes, yes. Jesus is costing you less. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Spiritual church yes, sir. That's right. A spiritual church love communion yes, because it is in remembrance of me, Jesus. Friendly, uh, I think the church is a friendly church. Yeah. 
Believe it or not, this friendship starts in your home. The disciples were all crazy. There's some crazy folk. Did you know that? One time they gathered up together and said, Hey, who's the great? What? <laughs> So my wife wanted to teach me English. She said, love is a verb. Hallelujah. I don't think you all did it. You do love. You don't say love. They're going to a heart. 
You know what? Can you continue to the next verse? Deal with another. Bear ye one another. Uh -huh. And so fulfill the law of Christ. It is the law of Christ for. If a man think himself. If a man think he is something. When he is nothing. Uh -huh. You know what? Let me continue. I don't want to stay there. And I leave church. I try not to do this one. Praise the Lord. Amen. Type and shadow of the church existed in the wilderness. Moses gathered the congregation and spoke what God said to them. Type and shadow of the church. David gathered the congregation and he spoke to them what God said. Yes. Type and shadow of the church. The primitive church in the New Testament is in Matthew chapter number 18. Mm -hmm. And God set stuff in order. It says in verse 15, Moreover, if I moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, uh -huh. go and tell him his fault between thee alone. and him alone. <laughs> Two. Sixteen. But if he will not hear thee, then, sh then take with thee one or two more. <laughs> And you go to them. Yes. Continue. That in the mouth of two or three witnesses, uh -huh. every word may be established. Now, why if he don't listen to those two or three? And if he neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. And then what the church do? But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man and a publican. Wow. There is an order. Yes, sir. Yes, there is. Amen. Yes, sir. This is God's church. God's church for the God's honor. Yes, sir. Amen. Now, continue. Yet I, uh, verily I say unto you, whatsoever uh -huh. ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. This is pretty serious. We have the power to bind stuff on her. And remember, it is bound in heaven. And if you lose it in earth, it's loose in heaven. Why? Yet I say unto you that if two of it, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Oh, God, help me. Because we are two or three are gathered in his name. Amen. There am I in the midst of them. Praise the Lord. See, the idea of church is a crusading church. It has a passion to strive to win Everyone to Christ. Right. Not someone. On, not man. one or two. Not a few. Everyone to Christ. Yes. Amen. Yes. Let me tell you something. And just in case you think I'm not talking to me, I can sit here for one second. Just don't, 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 don't judge me. Because I'm talking to me also. 
Sheep don't make sheep. Or sheep make sheep. Which one? Sheep make sheep. Sheep sheep. Sheep sheep. sheep. Yes, Shepherd takes care of sheep. Yes. It's the sheep responsibility to get other sheep. Yes, and the Bible says, Jesus Christ grow the church. Amen. The Lord grow the church. Yes, yeah. But sheep beget sheep. Your loved ones are the ones that Christ needs. And you are there to help them. Yes, sir. And the pastor is here to help. Sheep beget sheep. Yes, Lord. The ideal church is a crusading church. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God. It's strive to not only we don't want to Christ, but he's trying to, to transform the community. Yes, when you walk in your community, you shall be known as a Christian. Ha! Those days are not gone. Right. There was once upon a time when people see a Christian, they know it's a Christian. Yes, sir. Christian is peculiar. Is still peculiar. Yes, yes sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Bible says, "Your written epistle, no read of all men, not no some red. men. No Everybody red. is reading you and want to be like you, but you change and want to be like them." When you transform your family, you transform your community, right. you will transform your nation. Yes, sir. Right. That's right. Transform your nation, you transform the world. Right. It's the duty of the ideal church, which is a crusading church. Now we're down to business. Because my final point is... <laughs> Ah, the ideal church is a generous church. Hmm. In the ideal church, it means business. All right. No. The Bible is pretty clear how we should conduct life. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, The world is changing. You know, one time life was very simple. So simple that when you borrow money from someone or an institution, it has simple interest. So the amount you hold that person is the principal, the amount you borrow, times the time, how long you're going to take to pay it, times the interest that they want on that money. Very simple. Yes, sir. The world has become complex. So, in that scenario, you have a straight line like this. Is this straight? No. Close. <laughs> All right. Thank you, brother. I'll try to help myself out. <laughs> okay. Is this a straight line? Woo! Close. Close enough. All right. So, if on the bottom part here you have time, so point this to point that. That's how it used to be simple. Yeah. Now it's compound interest. Yes. You know, they, they, what happened is they, 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 the investors started it, right? Mm -hmm. So if you put your money in and, and they make it go fast. And, and the loaners take upon it and said, if your money can go fast that way, then we can make sure that you pay us back. So the compound interest, they take the time and they put an exponent on it and suddenly the curve goes in the center. So shorter time, a lot more money. But my Bible says, woo, the poor. Y'all should know this. Yes, sir. 
So we tried God. Trust like the Bible said. Now I'm going to get a date mixed up. That's why I have a health meet. Oh, come on, sisters. <laughs> <laughs> now, we start paying time. And a short period of time after we get our first house. Let me put it in perspective. We came from Canada. I'm the only one who's working. You have to have a credit that is built up to get a mortgage. This was like month six or seven. Not here, month six mm -hmm. or seven. Here in church. The house on 1810 Wickersham Drive stood there for several years. We got that house. It was empty. Mm -hmm. Got that house. Quickly, yes. as we start paying tithes. So, we were enjoying it. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's okay. You know, you know um, see, 10% of 30000 a year is, is it's okay. You can do it. I got a job. Double my salary. Oh, hallelujah. Which means the tithes are supposed to be doubled. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, then this was in South Carolina. Where there is no Pentecostal church in South Carolina. Right. We had to tie to the Georgia district as a Pentecostal minister. Where the Pentecostal church is not a minister. I said to myself, I had 10% of this I could do a lot with. I can never say that. <laughs> So we decide to do a lot with it. It didn't work. No. Double salary. We couldn't meet whatever we were meeting with half. That's right. And they were paying for the house while we were there. They were paying for the rent in South Carolina. The company was paying. <laughs> and they gave me money for a vehicle. And double the sun, we could not do what half that was doing when I was depending on God with 90% of a smaller amount of Amen. I proved them. Luckily for my wife, she's a quick learner. I'm the already one. She learned quickly. She said, honey, you know, when we were doing this, it happened. You know, it was okay. Let, let's try God. All right. Yes. When we tried him, here's what happened. Continue reading. Here's what happened. It happened. I'm telling you the truth. An ideal church, a church which is generous, this will happen to all of us. Go ahead. And prove me now with, uh -huh. saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you, Open you the windows of heaven. And it did. And pour you out a blessing. And it did. There, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And it did. Because 9-11 happened and we have to leave. Yes. <laughs> we have to leave okay. South Carolina and come back to Texas. I have that shortly have to go to Florida. But that's. But here is what it says after that. And I will rebuke the devourer. For I will rebuke the devourer. Who are the devourer? The loaners with this kind of interest rate. Continue. I will rebuke the devourer. You shall not destroy the fruits of, the, of your ground, neither shall your vine cast the fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. And all nations shall call you blessed, for ye shall be a delightsome land, saith the Lord of hosts. Amen. I'm here, we are here today because we revert back right. and believe what the Bible says. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. And all of a sudden, we stop looking at the 10%. And look at the 90%. Amen. 
Let God take care of the ten. Even we, you know the surprising thing? This is a challenge. Try to outgive God. <laughs> Come on. You can't. You can't hear it. Try and try and try and try and it will not happen. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. So, I'm an ideal church for this time. Praise for its leadership. Right. Yes. You know, sometimes I think that the ladies were talking about confidence, and, and you can have faith and not confident, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So, based on what I was hearing, then it seems like most times it's easier to pray for someone than yourself. Yeah. All right. If that is true, we can get through it. Yeah. You pray for me, I pray for you. Amen. You pray for me, I pray for you. Amen. You pray for me, I pray for you. Amen. Can you imagine what would happen if we pray for someone else Amen. and they pray for you? Amen. God will break this place up. Yes, sir. And He will. You know, we're still, why the Bible say you're a child of God? I mean, I mean when somebody say your child is out there making, playing around, your child, he's talking about someone that needs to listen to you when you talk. <laughs> yeah. And so the Bible call us his child of God. We are the children of God. Yes, sir. So we should be listening to him when he talks. Amen. Amen. I feel the spirit on that one. <laughs> and now since we are the child of this is how children behave. And I know Andrew didn't do this. Because he was a very special child. <laughs> but usually, a child will not talk on himself. Marcus, did you do this? <laughs> you can't hear. He probably said yes or no. I don't know. <laughs> so, we carry this into prayer. We do not talk on ourselves in prayer. We need to ask God to forgive us our sins. Yes. Yes, and we try not to do it because <laughs> we are the children of God. Amen. So let's help ourselves out by praying for each other yes. from Amen. this day forward. Yes, yes. Ticanes Pablo. Maybe he's watching. Polika Gatristo. God is going to pull a string on Paul's heart one yeah. day. Yes, amen. We believe that. Yes. Amen. And if we continue to pray, it will come to us. Yes, amen. Amen. Yes. Help us. So, in closing, let's commit to be an ideal church in which we pray for our leaders, in which we become more spiritual and love our Bible. Love to pray. Yes. Love one another. Yes. Love our community. Yes, amen. Love everyone oh. around us. Oh, yeah. Be 
generous. The law of God is free. Yes. Yes, yes amen. You know, God. I find it interesting because even Mark proved it. I think, I don't know about you, but I think 90% is bigger than 10. I hope God did speak to your heart today. I hope you're willing to obey Him. I think this church has prepared itself for a long time to get itself to the next level. She can get it. She can do the main over here on this side. Brother Smith, can you close us in prayer? Or you can come. If you come to praise the Lord. Thank you for a great lesson on stewardship, of Brother Smith. Uh, Pastor has asked if there's anyone that would like to come forward for special prayer. Uh, come on up and uh, we'll pray for you. <coughs> 